7.15 on a Saturday night. Why are you wearing sunglasses? Get lost! So, welcome to Creepy Ghoul Vision once again. Thank you very much for tuning in. I am Creepy Ghoul, your host. On a Saturday night, I've got some crazy unboxings for you guys, man. I'm telling you right now. You're going to want to check this out. I actually forgot. I even ordered this shit. Box shows up at my door. I'm like, what the hell is this? I read the label. I'm like, oh, okay. So I did order them or I did pre-order them. So let's get to it. Okay. So it's funny too, because um, the uh, Celtic Frost uh, box set was uh, available for pre-order several months ago and I debated on it and I figured what the hell I did um, and also the apocalyptic raids uh, reissue official reissue cassette um, was also available in the same breath as well so I definitely scooped that up right right away um, check out this label I'll put a link in the description box um, if you don't already know about them they're from Germany Darkness Shall Rise Productions. They're a cassette label. They're a freaking awesome uh, label for black metal, um, black death, um, uh, the underground shit, and stuff like this. So let's get to it. Now, I got two packages here. And uh, I, I knew what this was, but I, I kind of didn't know what this was. Um, if it's what I think it is, they could have just easily shipped it in this box, but... They chose to ship it separately, so I don't know, man. Let's open this box first and check it out and see what's going on here. From Darkness Shall Rise Productions out of Germany. Uh, amazing cassette label. Amazing cassette label. Let's check it out. So how do I open this box? Let's see what's going on here. All right, I'm just going to rip it. Okay, so, I don't know what I'm up against here. Alright, so they included some, uh, some flyers. I love flyers. I love uh, postcard flyers, man. I'm just going to show you real quick. Uh, I checked out this band, Vampire. I mean, <laughs> really cool logo and all, but I really, really was not into them. Uh, don't know if you are, but I, I sure as hell was not. Um, ancient cassettes, these are, uh, oh, there we go, there's the flyer for the Burzum standalone cassettes. Now, it baffled me why, um, this label here, Darkness Hill Rise Productions, uh, did not put out the Burzum cassettes in a box set, um, and it kind of hit me that maybe some of the later Burzum stuff, or when he got out of jail and he started making records again, um, wasn't everybody's cup of tea, I guess, but uh, I, I actually ordered all the old stuff from the 90s and whatnot before he went to jail and uh, just um, while he was in jail type of thing. So all the classics I ordered, I got them as a standalone um, cassettes. I'm glad they did standalone cassettes too, because uh, I'm not a, I'm not really a fan of the uh, the newer newer shit, um, the whole video game crap that he's doing. I don't know the role playing game. Whatever you want to fucking call it. Anyways, there it is. Ah, oh, here it is right here. There it is right here. The flyer for it. Nice. The sign of the Ursiper box set, which uh, we're going to do an unboxing for any second now. And uh, there it is right there. The official reissue of Hellhammer's um, Apocalyptic Raids EP. There we go. What the hell happened to my atmosphere music, man? What's going on? Can oh, freaking gases, commercials. Um, and I'm going to quickly show you some of these uh, postcard flyers. I've actually never ordered from Darkness Shall Rise Productions before. Um, I believe I've gotten stuff from them, uh, from other labels, but I've never actually ordered from them personally, and this is the first time. And uh, yeah, I mean. You know, you're going to pay a little bit more because uh, it's conversion from Canadian to Euros. I don't know how much it is for U.S. to Euros, but I mean, they got some good shit. 
and um, check this out. Okay, so we get the, the newer Mayhem cassettes, then um, the Enslaved uh, cassette box set. I debated on this big time. I really debated on this because I really like the early Enslaved ship, but I passed up on it. Um, instead, I pre-ordered the Immortal box set, and that one you've got to see. Um, it's going to be released uh, any day now, really. So let's see what this shit is. Oh, okay, so they did ship it separately. I don't know why, but whatever. So this is the official reissue of the uh, Hellhammer's Apocalyptic Raids cassette. Um, which, God, I never even had the original. Um, on there it is right there. Darkness Shall Rise Productions. That's their logo. That's the label. Check it out. Definitely, if you're into the underground shit, uh, the, the black metal, the death metal, mostly black metal, um, uh, you're going to want to check out this label. So from what I understand, this is the, um, this whole production, the artwork, the liner notes, and everything is based on the 84, 85 um, original release of this. And apparently it's got some new liner notes by Tom G. Warrior in there. Um... So yeah, funny enough, <laughs> after I pre-ordered this, Hell's Headbangers um, <coughs> had it on their distro, and I did a Hell's Headbangers order, which is on the, its way in right now, and I actually ordered a second copy of this, too. Hey, I'm telling you, man, well, this is like once in a lifetime right now. Um, I don't know the limitation on this, but I'm gathering it's like uh, several thousand, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing. Um, so you know what? One for playing, one for collection purposes. There you go. This is a fucking devastating EP, and you know it. Okay, so let's get to the meat. So here it is right here. Sign of the Ursiper box set. The uh, Celtic Frost box set. Official. Now, <laughs> I'm sick of this crap, man. This is going to be the final Hellhammer slash Celtic Frost stuff I probably ever get, and I know I've probably said that before, when the reissue of the um, Morbid Tales and Apocalyptic Raids came out not too long ago. Um, oh, mother fuck. Anyway, if I slice through, I think, a flyer or a postcard. Okay, anyhow. Okay, so let's check it out. Really, 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 really great packaging. Alright, so what did I slice through here? Um, the Masters of Nebula Frost. Okay, so there it is right there. That's the Immortal box set that I just pre-ordered. Uh, it ships really soon. Um, it's got all the cassettes and a whole bunch of like extras, banners, posters, postcards, pins. Um, it's like, wow. I don't even I don't even care for these two albums to be quite honest with you. Pure Holocaust was the best thing they ever put out. Demos were great. Diabolical Full Moon Mysticism was awesome, but Pure Holocaust is definitely where it's at. These two, I don't know what the fuck that is, but anyhow, they are listenable. They're not bad, they're just not great. Anyways, damn, I feel so bad I sliced through that. Anyways. So let's get to it. Okay. So Sign of the Ursiper. I better be careful how I open this shit, man. Seriously. Uh, I don't want to mess this up. So the limitation on this, this uh, Celtic Frost box set, is 1,000 copies for the entire planet. Uh, never, ever, 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 ever to be pressed ever, 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 ever again. Thank you very much. Okay, so, holy crap, wow. Oh, what a fucking gorgeous box set that is. Um, okay, so, inside, let's see. Oh, man, I'm so reluctant on this. I really, really am. I really, really am reluctant on this, but I'm going to do it. Okay. So, first thing. Mmm, God, that smells so good. Okay, so the first thing is we got a nice, we got a nice banner here. Wow quality of this is pretty cool. Let's check it out. Uh, it's this way. That's a really generous banner right there. There we go. I'm six feet tall by the way, so 
So just for scale, there you go. And this is a really good quality banner of the old, uh, the old logo. Nice, very, very nice. And uh, <laughs> while well knowing myself, uh, this will go right back in the uh, Ziploc baggie that it came with. Uh, I probably will not put this up as it is part of the actual box set. Um, that's my only uh, hesitation in ordering really um, elaborate, uh, extravagant box sets like this. Like, the shit will stay with it. I mean, like, I, I, I won't even use the stuff. I won't even put the the uh, pins on my, my leather jacket or jean jacket or whatever, you know, which is, I don't know, which is pretty sad, but that, that's just the kind of collector that I am. And look, I'm even trying to fold it properly the way it was and just stick it right back in the Ziploc. Oh, go ahead, leave your comments below. Let's hear them. Anyhow, check this shit out. Silver plated logo. There it is right there. Oh god, that smells fresh. It smells so nice. Sign of the Ursifer. There's the box set right there. This is a beautiful box set. Wow. Didn't expect it to be like that. It's on the back. Darkness Shall Rise Productions right there. Check them out. And it's got the track listings on there. So the cassettes are Morbid Tales, Morbid Tales Rehearsal Sessions, uh, Emperor's Return Recording Session, Two Megatherian, Into the Pandemonium, and Into the Pandemonium Recording Session Bonus Tracks. Okay, cool. <laughs> Wicked. Okay, right off the bat, what the fuck? Look at, oh, that is fucking sick. Oh, I so wanna stitch us onto a jacket. Look at that, look at that patch. Freaking sick. They had to uh, bend it to get it in the box. Oh, check out the, um, the back of the lid there yep okay so let's check it out so I got a uh, gotta be very careful with this got another flyer for the box set and what do we got here oh wow <laughs> oh geez look at look at the thickness of that book that's the booklet that it, that it comes with it's ridiculous That booklet. Mm. You know, you gotta love the smell of a of a, of, an, of, a, of, a, of a brand new book. This is no exception. Whew. That doesn't smell good, but it, it, it smells good at the same time. Let's check it out. Um, the pages are rather thin. Uh, however, it's loaded with liner notes, photographs. Um, I don't know how well you're gonna see that but um and it's got lyrics old photographs some color some black and white um let's show you another angle of it i'm not gonna advertise the whole book but um yeah really cool hellhammer celtic frost era. Okay, so what else do we got here? They, oh, so we got a couple of posters, so check it out. Be super duper careful with this. So there's the, uh, the front and the back. Spoiler alert, spoiler alert for those of you who haven't received this yet or haven't received it at all that are thinking about getting it. I don't know if there's any available, it might be sold out on their label. Um, Hell's Headbangers, from what I understand, will probably be getting a few um, very shortly. Um, you might be paying a little bit more depending on where you are, but uh, definitely, uh, so far, this is, this 
definitely worth it. I haven't even gotten to the meat of it yet. I'm just showing you the accessories here. Um, there's another poster. And on the other side... Yeah, a lot, a lot of these photos we've seen. Um, not necessarily in this format though, but I mean... It's really cool. So... Here is one. I think this is a... Uh, it looks to be a uh, some sort of flyer from the time, a repro of the flyer. And there's the back right there. I think I have a long sleeve with that picture on the back, actually. Okay, so that's it for the poster. So we got a really high quality patch, which will never see my uh, my jean jacket. <laughs> I don't know if I could fit into that jean jacket anymore. Well, maybe one of them, but... Uh, so what's this? What's this? Okay. Interesting. So we got a couple of uh, rounded edge postcards there. And look at the back of that. <laughs> I don't know. I can't help but to laugh. It's interesting, though. And there's um, two mega... Um, uh, yeah, two mega -therian. Great album, great freaking album next to Morbid Tales, that's for sure. The Emperor's Return, great EP. I think I have a bonsai pressing of this EP. And lastly, we got into the Pandemonium postcard. Postcards are, are quite unique. Uh, the paper it's printed on is really nice and soft and um, glossy. Yeah, I'm actually impressed. That's, not, that's a really good quality uh, postcards. Um, so what else have we got here? We've got, oh, there it is right there, the Certificate of Authenticity from Darkness Shall Rise Productions. I've got, I've got number, they're hand numbered, I've got number 547 out of a thousand of these box sets. Check it. There's the Certificate of Authenticity, front and back from Darkness Shall Rise Productions. And well, here they are right here. There are the box set. There's the tapes in the box set. We got, um, yeah, Morbid Tales. Uh, the rehearsal sessions for Morbid Tales. Uh, we got the Emperor Return, Emperor's Return. Uh, two Megatherian. Right there. And, okay, okay, and underneath those cassettes, holy hell, so I'm going to cover this up, underneath those cassettes, we've got the other two right there, the Into the Pandemonium and Into the Pandemonium uh, Sessions, what is it, uh, bonus songs, interesting, eh, <laughs> but check this out, wow, I've got a try to take this out right here look at that wow <laughs> look at that pen that's pretty freaking sick a metal pen the detailing on that is just sick I don't know who's gonna wear that on their leather jacket man take a chance on losing that but it's it's actually it actually comes it actually comes in a cassette uh, cassette um, case and there's the uh, back of it right there with the uh, two pins for your leather jacket awesome seriously awesome so let's see so what do we got so we got the uh, I don't know how well you're gonna see that with the glare my apologies for that glare but there's the back darkness shall rise productions We got Morbid Tales uh, rehearsal session cassette. I think the back of them is uh, a little different. It's on a red cassette too. And this one's on a black cassette. And then we've got the Emperor's Return. Oh, green, <laughs> green cassette. Nice, 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 nice. And 
Ascend to Megatherian. Great freaking album right here. Oh yeah. And that's on a, uh, and a, on a, you can see, a gray cassette. A funeral, funeral gray cassette. There we go. And then the last two cassettes we've got Into the Pandemonium. Uh, that's on a gold cassette. And last but not least, we've got Into the Pandemonium recording session bonus songs. What are the bonus songs are on this one? It's going to be hard to open these, man, I'm telling you. I kind of just want to keep them as is, but for what I spent on this shit, man, I better open them and play them. There we go. Right on. And there's the inside of the box. Just got some foam at the side to house the, uh, the uh, pin there. So yeah, that was it. Um, that was the uh, sign of the Ursaber box set by Celtic Frost. Let this be the final, absolute final uh, Hellhammer Celtic Frost thing, um, music thing that is, that I ever get. I mean, because enough's enough, guys. I mean, what else? We have everything already, and like, what else could there be? Seriously, what else could there be? Um, you know, but uh, Tom G. Warrior never ceases to amaze us, I guess, but uh, yeah, en enough's enough. Seriously, I mean, us uh, diehard fans, I guess if that's what you want to call us, had to have this. I don't know. I had to have it. I wanted it. I really wanted it. And I'm glad I got it. And uh, I'm just trying to get everything back in the box. Look at that. That patch is just something else, man. Look at that. Damn. Okay, so let's seal up the box. There we go. That's nice. A lot of stuff in here, man, I'm telling you. And we got the banner. There we go. Coming at you. All right. So that was my Darkness Shall Rise Productions uh, double unboxing Hellhammer Celtic Frost cassettes box set. Like, share, subscribe, give me a couple thumbs up, will you? If you like the video. And, you know, we'll see you on the next video. Thank you for watching Creepy Ghoul Vision. I am Creepy Ghoul, your host. We'll see you on the next one.